Hello everyone. Please be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button if you enjoy the content. My channel is currently not monetized, so every lesson you learn here on YouTube is absolutely free. Any donations you make to the Cash App below keeps the channel going. Thanks and enjoy. Alright, welcome back to Saxophone and Shot Tutorials. I am your teacher Shot, and today I'll be showing you how to play the note D on the alto sax, okay? Uh, oh, by the way, when you play these notes, you can play these notes on any sax and it's, it'll be the same note. But it will sound different because different saxophones are in different keys, whereas this is the E flat alto. You have the B flat soprano, B flat tenor, and the E flat uh, berry saxophone, okay? So if you're playing tenor, you could be fingering G, but it'd be like a fourth, like it, it won't be the, the same G as you would play on this saxophone. I, I don't want to think about theory right now, guys, but anyways, um, this note is D, okay? And I need you to really pay attention to this particular note because this note is a game changer, okay? This note <laughs> does not have two octaves. This note has three octaves, okay? This note has three octaves, okay? It has a low, it has a mid, and it has a high. Now pay very close attention to what I'm getting ready to say. It is very important, okay? When you're playing the D, the minute you get past the note C sharp, the notes are no longer low. Whereas you have to use the octave key, in which I've showed you the octave key a million times. Go back and refer to other videos. But once you get past C sharp and you get to the note D, you start using your octave key. You use octave keys to play mid and you use octave key to play high, okay? So C sharp and down are normally like where your, your lower notes are and D and up is normally where your higher notes are, if that makes sense, okay? Um, so th D has three octaves. And the best way I can explain it is I'm gonna give you the fingering for the low and the mid are the same. And then we get into these things called palm keys, okay? Palm keys, I'm gonna show you. If you look on the side of your sax, you'll see three keys right here. Those are called palm keys. The reason we call those palm keys on the saxophone is because we play them with our palm. There's no fingerings, uh, so we hit these notes with our palm. Those, those palm keys send you extremely high, okay? That's for the higher notes. And once you get to D, it has a third octave. D, E flat, E, and F have a third octave that you can hit with these palm keys, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the fingering for the palm key D as well, not just the regular D. So the regular D will be one, two, three. One, two, three, okay? That's the fingering for the regular D again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pace those kids. Pace those kids. Ah. Ah, I'll pace those kids. Okay, one, two, three. Also in the lower rack, I haven't showed you guys the lower rack yet. One, two, three, okay? So I hope you guys can see that. One, two, three up top, and one, two, three at the bottom, okay? That is the fingerings for D. And if I just hit the first D, that's gonna be low D, and then I hit the octave key, and I can hit the mid D, okay? And those fingerings are the same for the low D, and the mid D, the octave, the, the fingerings are the same. The only difference is the low D has no octave key and the mid D has the octave key, okay? So I'm going to hit the low D first. This is low D. No octave key. That's how that one sounds. Um, this is the mid D. That has the octave key. And now this is the palm key D. Again, this right here, this first palm key. I hope you guys can see that because it's one, two, three palm keys, okay? And the first one, if you hit this first one with the octave key right here, that's going to give you higher D, okay? And this is how that sounds. All right, and what you want to do is you just want to go back and forth between the, between the notes, okay? All right. 
Alrighty, that's going to give you all three right there. Remember, the low and the mid are the same fingerings, just with the octave key for the mid. And then the higher D is the palm key and the octave key. And that'll give you high D, okay? Um, I believe I, I think I forgot my diagram because I was showing you guys, so I'll put it up here now. <coughs> that's going to show you the fingering. I don't think the palm key is on there. I think I might have scratched it out on accident. But I showed you guys the palm keys on here, so I hope you guys or paying attention. If not, you can take the video back and you can see where I showed you. But that's the fingering for D. And thank you once again for watching uh, Saxophone and Shot Tutorials. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one. I'll be teaching E flat, okay? All thank right. Thank you for watching today's video. Again, be sure to drop a dollar on that cash app. I'm your teacher, Saxophone and Shot. And in the words of my older brother, Rudy P. Magic, have a blessed one until the next one.